See, a lot of Ados people, man, are just, you know, even though Ados people go through a lot, and they do, and I'll say this, they paved the way for other minorities, including Africans. They don't understand or have a, no idea about Africa, speaking on it from uh, a position of living in America. And I know that's kind of irritating to Africans. It's like you don't know who we really are and how we see ourselves and how we go through life. And it just kind of, it, it just, you know, when um, hey, those people talking about we want to take on the religions in Africa before the so-called white man came over, I mean, it just shows to ignorance because one of two things has to be happening, right? Just pure ignorance or you just wicked, man. Because if you really get into that, those practices that they do over there, you realize what it really takes. You realize what it really takes to have any kind of success or st stability in a lot of these African countries, right? especially in West Africa, South Africa. To get any kind of success, you have to indulge into witchcraft. Witchcraft is very heavy in these countries, right? just like in Haiti in other parts of the Caribbean. And that stuff is real, man. Witchcraft is, it, it's normalized, right? You have a witch doctor living right across the street from you, even in the Caribbean. A place like Jamaica, man. Like I had a girl out there. See, that's why, what you gotta understand, like once you start talking about the Caribbean and the Africans, they don't, they don't engage into modern warfare like Ados people do, right? See, Ados people, when we get mad, we like to shoot you and fight you. But those people, they don't get into that. They see the the, the the bare minimum is they'll they'll shoot you. Then from there they start putting curses on you, right? It's quite it's not uncommon. Even in the Caribbean, you'll see a person walking around looking like a zombie because somebody put a curse on them. That's how the women deal with each other. You ain't gonna see a whole bunch of women that's fighting each other like that, right? You're not. Because they know they could just go to a witch doctor. And so you hear these crazy stories. It's not just voodoo going on going on over there in Africa. Right? You, you got people who is giving themselves to these marine spirits. Sacrificing to these marine spirits. And I am sure this was going on even since um, the times before slavery. And that's how we ended up here in the first damn place. Not to mention voodoo. All the gods they worship are evil, man. Why? Because it requires them to ultimately do evil stuff. So you ate those people only get a taste of that stuff, man. Y'all right, be gathering rocks and crystals and charms, you know, and other objects and doing all these different chantings and other, other, other stuff, right? And it's cute. And that's more of a way of when a lot of those people come here, that's the way they make money. They're not going to tell you the real. They're not going to tell you what it took to get to a high level. They're not going to tell you that kind of stuff. And that's the reality a lot of you Ados don't want to hear. All right? And I hate when y'all say, oh, man, you know, the Bible was used to enslave black people. They did, they, they did not enslave black people with the Bible. They enslaved black people with guns and being able to work together. And when they taught black people the Bible, they didn't teach them the whole entire Bible. They gave them a watered down, watered down version of it. It didn't tell them the whole Bible. Because if, if black folks would have learned the whole Bible, would have been biblically literate, right? They would have rebelled against that, right? guys are ignorant. You see, that's why they, they didn't want black people to read. And still to this day, black people, black Christians particularly, carry that legacy of being biblically illiterate, man. I gotta wake up. So when you're thinking about all that bloodshed going on in a place like Africa, right? All the wickedness based off that Hell, even a place like Haiti. You see why the, uh, the land is cursed. They choose to do that. The white man's not making them do that. The white man's not making them do that. You look at a place like Barbados. That that place, Barbados, is, is prosperous because that place is a Christian nation. 
Haiti could easily be like a Barbados. A lot of those black countries could be like Barbados because Barbados is a Christian nation. But places like Haiti, nah. But they keep talking about the white man. Oh, no, the white man. So is the white man making them doing all those human sacrifices with the white man making before uh, slavery, right? But during that same time period, was the white man making us um, uh, sacrifice each other to the rivers, to the water, and to the white man, right? For money and stuff like that. Did a white man, did a white man make us do that too? We don't got control over what we do to each other. That's always a lame, wicked, evil excuse, man. Right? And I'm not, and, you know, and I'll deal with, you know, this whole system that we're talking about, racism, slavery, all that kind of stuff. I'm not saying that didn't have no kind of consequences, but I'm just saying we, we pretty much put so much credit to these people. Like, we just don't have no control over ourselves and how we treat each other. It's just sad, pathetic, and wicked. But like I said, even Africans don't want to be in Africa dealing with that type of witchcraft that I'm talking about. Not just the poverty, but what really goes on there. Because it is extreme circumstances on there. And so when y'all talk, like, we want to get back to our roots. They're looking at y'all like, y'all don't understand what's really going on over there, man. Y'all just don't get it. And I'm so tired of... Ain't those people are the only people that talk like that, man. This is Mr. Shepard, and I'm out.